What's up guys, Decrim here, here with part one of my website tutorial. Um, sorry for my voice, I'm kind of sick right now, but yeah. Um, this tutorial is just going to be um, on how to design the we website, and it's going to be a simple website, not like a professional one and all that. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, and the second part will be uh, the coding part, but uh, yeah. So I have this file here. Um, my teacher actually gave this to me, so I'll give it to you guys if you need it. Well, that shows where all the rules are, ruler, rulers are. Sorry. So yeah, let's get started. Um. <clears throat> so first, I'm gonna change the background color to a nice grayish. And then I'm gonna grab my uh, rectangular rectangular tool and uh, just maybe just draw a square at the bottom here. But I'm going to change the color to an even darker gray. Let's see. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, it looks good. And then I'll just resaturize that. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a logo up here. You can do the same too, so. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna go there. Sorry, I have a lot of folders here. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. <coughs> Alright, so. You guys just wanna bring your logo into here and make the size kinda kinda big but not too big. You know? And just paste it right in the middle there. See the the, the rulers help you center everything so it doesn't look like a piece of crap. I'm gonna change the green real set. Um, let's try this one. Oops. The f That's terrible. I'm gonna change it to blue, actually. I'll just choose that for now and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add text this size with my name on it and I'm gonna change the text to black and I'll put the font to uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll do that. And then, so I'm using Caviar Dreams, and I'm gonna put the size to 30 pixels or 30. Yeah. Come on, hurry up. I'm actually gonna resize this a bit more. That looks good. And just kind of try and make it line up with the logo a bit. I'm actually going to squish it a bit, so... Now I'm going to copy and paste it, and then bring it over to this side, and add something else. Like so... Alright, now let's start on the navigation bar. So, take the rectangle tool again, just let the color black. You can actually have whatever color you want, so I'm just going to use black for now. And... Just gonna draw a rectangle up, match that, and resaturize it. And that kind of looks kind of too big. You know. Uh... All right. Bring those lines back. 
Now I'm gonna have uh, some links in the navigation bar, so let's use home. Oh, let me change the color of that real quick. Change the white. I'll change the thing too. Let's uh, That should be good. Yeah, I like that. All right. So I'm gonna go with that. Copy and paste it. Actually, no, don't copy paste it. Uh, just go into the text and either use the tab key or space it out, or you could duplicate it and just paste each one. But this is what I'm gonna do it this way. If my stopping a dick. Oh my god. All right. That's not too much, so I'll do tab and then two spaces and I'll put gallery or something. Um, what else should I put? Hmm. You can just put whatever you want basically, so I'm just going to put contact. And maybe store. Yeah, okay. So now, once you have all that, you should look at that, but I'm going to actually make this smaller. I mean, it doesn't have to look like really good, because in Dreamweaver, when you code it, you can change it up to your liking, actually, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, it kind of does, but yeah. Alright, that looks fine to me, I guess. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do is... uh. I'm gonna make a slideshow right here. So I'm gonna just type slideshow. And I guess I'll change the font to Arial. I like using different fonts. Should probably highlight that so it would change. Uh, let me change it to bold. <laughs> that's just about right. I'll just place it right there. I'm actually going to change the color but to the dark blue. <laughs> Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take a triangle, or sorry, rectangle tool and make a big rectangle right here. Make it whatever size you want your uh, slideshow to be. And I actually have an image already set up for me. I think it's in here. Let me check. Yeah. So I'm gonna use this old model I made when I back when I first started YouTube on my old channel. I used the model, and this is one of the models I did. So, just bring that into the thing. And I'm gonna create a clipping mask with that, so it's the right size. And it looks a bit small, so I'm just gonna drag it up a bit. Like that. That looks pretty nice so far. Let me just see how much time. Okay, nine minutes. This is going slower than I thought it would be. Holy crap. Alright, so let's speed it up. So, you can just follow me if you want. I'm just going to put a black rectangle right here. And maybe drag it up a bit. Saturate later. And I'm going to just put the text oh my god hurry up I'm gonna punch someone I'm gonna put the text tutorial sorry I forgot to capitalize always important just put the regular for now drop the font size to maybe 14 let's see that's perfect whatever I'm gonna fuck yellow 
and maybe drop the opacity a bit. Actually, no, don't drop the opacity on that. Drop the opacity on the black bar, so it gives you that nice effect. And then, yeah. So now I'm gonna do the about me part. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna get a profile picture. Maybe that's a good size right there. Let's go with that. And then I'm gonna resaturize that. Drag it to the top real quick. And now I'm gonna grab my profile picture I have, which is also ready. And yes, this is a picture of me. So yeah, that's what I look like. Right there. And then I'm just gonna create a clipping mask over that. Oh, that's good. Alright, now I'm gonna create a little header about me. Probably make this size a little bit bigger. It's way too big, holy fuck. And I'm gonna put the font, I'll keep the font the same, but maybe bold it or black. Should I use black? No, I'm gonna use bold. Black's too black for me. Racist, sorry. I'm actually gonna make it smaller too, because this does not look good. And I'm actually gonna where where to go? I'm gonna put the same blue I put on the slideshow. There you go. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna copy that text and I'm gonna bring it down. And I actually have text written here for the about me section. Um, you guys can make whatever you want. This is off my old website I made for school project. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it. Holy fuck. I'm gonna make the font a bit smaller. That seems about right. I'm actually gonna change the color of that to a dark gray. Oh, uh, it's a good color. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. And I'm actually gonna, I'm not gonna keep it bold. Bold looks stupid like that. One sec. Does that look nice? I like that, yeah, okay. And just to line it up. Nice. So that's what we have so far. Just a nice simple site. Sorry if it's blurry. Um, add a bottom part to that. I don't know if it's gonna fit the part I had in mind, but... Alright, so again, I have images saved up. I'm just going to close these real quick. So again, yeah, I have images saved that I already have done. So, I have pictures of all my teams I'm currently in. And I'm just going to paste them there. And give a brief description about them and all that. So I'm going to take the era first. And I'm just going to... Maybe put it right there. And then... Grab the Monic logo, new team that I just started with Ryan, also known as Graph. What up? And just try and center it. I'm not gonna I'm just doing it fast right now because I wanna do oh no. Oh, I wanna get this over with super fast, so. Hopefully it's not over 15 minutes already. Okay, I got like two minutes. So holy fuck right now. Oh my god, I'm gonna punch a baby. Alright. I'm just gonna grab some text that I, again that I already have made is it all copied holy crap are you? and I'm just gonna copy the about me text I'm just gonna paste it and that looks good in my opinion Bring it over there, right the fuck up. And again, I'm gonna copy and paste this. And sorry if this website isn't the greatest, because I just wanted to do this tutorial fast, because, you know, I really don't know actually, but yeah. You don't have to copy this tutorial either, you can just 
like wait for me for my second part to come out of my uh, coding and then can still like take parts of the coding off and code your own website I'll, I'll, I'll be doing more website coding and all that so be sure to check that out when it comes out I'm actually going to try and center these more that looks good I'm going to center this one right there and then bring the arrow one in a bit and I'm actually gonna make the belt me smaller cause that kinda is too big and I'm just gonna bring that up to the corner there and then I'm gonna bring all these up a bit cause we still have to make the footer alright now let's finish you fastly do the equator does that even work fastly? whatever uh, just make a tiny little line I use a rectangle tool for that I'm just gonna resaturize it real quick and uh, that's good enough I don't really care oh, I have text right here that I have copyright oh it says noise because I was, gonna, I was gonna do the background for noise but I stopped so I'm just gonna keep that I don't care um, copy this text real quick and just paste it in there and just put it in the center probably drop the bar down a bit I'm gonna copy the paste alright so that's basically it um, again it's not the best website it's just a simple one got a slideshow logo navbar about me section and some team level stuff so in the next tutorial I will be teaching you guys how to uh, code this website so if this what if this uh, video gets 15 likes no I'll say 20 likes in the first day this video is out I'll release part 2 the next day or yeah the next day so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this speed art or not speed art uh, tutorial and uh, I'll see you next time see ya